Hey Craig here. So as you can see I'm going full steam ahead on this press brake build. Uh, I've got the frame right here. Um, already got the cylinder in and uh, getting ready to do the mounting plate for the uh, for the cylinder. Alright. Okay so as I had discussed in the previous video the uh, it's an H frame made out of a channel this is a uh, six by, I don't know, was it 8.2 pounds? They got a funny way of measuring it. Anyways, it's, it's a six by two by uh, 0.2, just a little under a quarter of an inch. Uh, had the welding shop weld it up. Uh, it was like 85 bucks to weld the whole thing up. So this is a uh, 36 inch pieces. So it's basically 36 by 36 which gives me a 32 inch opening in here. This is a uh, 20 ton cylinder from Redline. I'm using a one inch thick steel plate 10 by 10. Over here is going to be the uh, press plate. All right, well the first thing to do machining wise is to bore a, uh, I think it's 2.8 inch hole in this plate so we'll go ahead and do that okay got the stock all mounted up got my uh zero set back here Okay, that took about uh, nine minutes to do. That's, uh, uh, yeah, three-eighths of an inch deep. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna go on to the three-eighths tool. I'm not even sure how sharp this end mill is. So, but it's gonna be like 40 minutes because I'm kind of taking it easy on it So since it's so deep, but all right, cool.
Okay, well there it is. That took uh, quite a while. Uh, there was a lot of squealing going on, but it was still cutting, so I just kind of left, left it keep going, so... Alright, well, um, I can't really test it the way it is because of the way the cylinder is. I got this thing on one end and this on the other, so I guess I'm just going to have to go by the calipers alone to make sure Okay, well, it looks like it's going to fit. Um, the hole's probably not quite as big as I had hoped for, but um, a snugger fit may be better, so... Well, let me pull it off and uh, see the fit. Okay, well, obviously this is supposed to be on the, the bottom side, but there's no way I'm going to be able to hold it there, so I'm just going to show you on the top here. Um, this will sit right in here. Ooh, perfect fit. Nice. Put the collar on. Okay, look just like that. From underneath there. Cool. I like it. Alright, well now all I have to do is uh, take this over to the welder and uh, have him weld it on. I think I'm gonna... Maybe I'm gonna try to have him weld it, uh, but you know, not so much if I had to grind the welds off and I can change this plate if I do end up getting a, a different RAM. Uh, you know, I could probably could have gone to 40 ton, but the problem with using a larger cylinder is when you use air hydro air over hydraulics. Um, it the bigger the cylinder, it seems like the slower it goes. Um, so, so I'm just going with a 20 ton because I know it's a lot faster. So, right. okay. Well, I just got it back from the welder. Um, he welded this uh, the plate on. I put the cylinder on. I've got the uh, press plate. And uh, so she's all ready to go. All right, well, if you like this video, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. Feel free to leave any comments down below, any suggestions. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, there should be a button over here. Uh, if you'd like to support us on Patreon, there should be a link there. And also some other videos over here you might like to watch. And as always, thanks for watching.